Uh, okay, Bobby, my mom just said that you didn't know the, really the differences between the main two mounts. The main two mounts are Canon um, EF, okay? And these are still lenses, so the idea behind this is that it usually is taking one frame a second. Click and done. So that we're going to get back to that in a second. This is a PL mount, and you notice the four different r wings that come up and off out to the side, and then uh, the thickness of it. So this is incredibly strong and will lock in and lock tight. We're going to get to that in a second. So cinema and DSLR. Only till recently has this been being used in film and, and motion picture stuff. So for a quick example, I have an EF mount. I don't have the body for it. Uh, for a camera, but and then I have a PL mount. So if you look really closely, there's a locking pin right here. And then if you see this, there's an open pin right here. And so when that goes in and connects, the lens itself can't twist. Look at me here. Why is that important? Because if it twists, you're bending the light rays as it hits the sensor, which means when a focus motor is shifting, your image will warp. That doesn't make a difference in warping when you're taking one picture a second, but when you're doing 24 or 2000 with a Phantom Flex, you need the light rays hitting the sensor to be absolutely perfect and sharp. Come back in here. So another safety part of all this is it locks in with this PL twist, right? Well, I don't know what this, the locking collar, right? So a PL mount is incredibly secure. Now, I'm gonna leave that on there and I'm gonna show you this real quick. This is an EF mount that would be on the camera side, right? So. When this goes in, every cinema le or DSLR lens has a red dot, red dot. It goes in and clicks to twist. Well, the click to twist means it can wiggle. Like, I don't know if you can really tell in there, but it, it wiggles. That's, again, the light rays bouncing. People using DSLR glass for cinema, has be this has become such a problem, the wiggle of a lens motor shifting the lens, that Aerie has designed a PL locking style collar on EF mounts. So when you push this in and clamp it, it becomes super solid and rigid. I think you can see now it's not wiggling. So that's the biggest difference. An EF mount is cinema is 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 an EF mount is is still PL mount is cinema rigidity security um, built like a tank, quick easy pop on pop off. Um, I feel like there was one last thing that was a big difference. Um, there is no adapter. This is important. There is no adapter from EF to PL, which is why Canon makes a PL version and an EF version, because the flange distance, which is the distance from the back of the lens to the sensor, is I think 47, 46 centimeters. That's the same distance Sorry, I'm trying to go quick, Bobby. We're just going to have to stream this video to you and not send it in a text. It's going to be too long. That's the same distance of, of an EF lens. The sensor sits back here. It's about 47, 52 centimeters back. If you put a lens adapter in between those, you are now pushing your lens forward, which means the light rays are traveling further, which means your focus, when you roll focus or zoom, would be warped and different and blurry. So that's why you can't. You can have lens adapters for Sony, but Sony E-mounts flange distance is like 10 centimeters. So then when you buy your adapter, it makes it back out to the correct 52 or 47 millimeters, centimeter, whatever it is, distance. Does that make sense? If not, give me a call. Here to help.